Are you watching the news with me, Meher Sheikh? Let's begin with the top headlines. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman addressed a press conference today where she slammed the opposition raising questions on RBI after its decision to transfer Rs 1.76 lakh crore to the government. Sitaraman called such allegation as outlandish and clarified that the decision on the surplus transfer of RBI's reserve was taken by a committee appointed by the central banking institution and government had no role in it. Just hours after returning from the Three Nation Tour, PM Modi made his way to Arun Jaitley's residence in Greater Kalash today to pay his last respect to the departed former finance minister and his dear friend. PM Modi was accompanied by Home Minister Amit Shah. The Delhi and the District Cricket Association has decided to rename the Firosha Kotla Stadium after former Finance Minister Arun Jaitley. The DDCA decided to honour Arun Jaitley, who during his tenure with the body had the stadium rebuilt and also helped launch several well-known names in cricket today. P. Chidambaram's family has issued a statement challenging the government to produce a shred of evidence in support of one undisclosed bank account, property or shell company anywhere in the world. Earlier, the SC extended interim protection to the Congress leader in a case being probed by the ED. Rahul Gandhi slammed the government after it received a payout from the RBI saying that stealing from the central bank will not help. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman hit back saying the Chori slogans always backfired on Rahul Gandhi. On Monday, the RBI decided to transfer a surplus of Rs 1.76 lakh crore to the government to give the slowing economy a push. Rahul Gandhi is on a three-day tour of flood-hit Wayanad where he addressed a gathering saying that he has a responsibility towards the people of Wayanad even though he is not the chief minister of the state. Rahul also wrote to the three union ministers seeking help to rebuild Kerala. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates.